Welcome back folks and today we are looking at the adventures of Samurai Usagi. Now when all of the Holothon figures were released I was really trying to avoid buying characters we already have especially if it was just kind of in a different outfit. I already have too many Bebop and Rocksteadies but when I saw the Susagi Ojimbo in person I feel like I had to have them and there's a big reason why and I'll share it towards the end of this video. Looking at the front of the box we have some beautiful artwork of Usagi Ojimbo, The Adventures of Samurai Usagi on the side volume number 17. I guess we've gotten a lot of these so far and then everyone that's worked on this product and all of the accessories included. And on the back we do get a bio of Usagi Ojimbo and some nice product shots so packaging looks great really excited about this and when I pulled out my other package for Usagi Ojimbo. I didn't realize that that was our first tease of the Punk and Disguise Turtles, so pretty cool. They were definitely in that first episode where we meet Usagi back in the old cartoon, but I'm really excited about this one. And there's some fantastic photos on the front, and you can see this guy is just loaded with tons of accessories, and a lot of this stuff looks new, and we haven't gotten it yet. So now that we've gotten a good look at all of the box art for this Usagi Ojimbo, let's take him out of the box and we'll check him out. So after freeing Usagi Ojimbo, just looking at the figure, he has some awesome detail, completely new sculpt, loving all the samurai armor, and this is very reminiscent to some older figures that we've gotten in the past, but I do love these figures with the bigger feet because they're a lot easier to stand up, especially a lot easier than the turtles, but just looking at his outfit at first glance, the colors look fantastic. The blue and gold really contrast nicely. I love all the armor pieces, the shoulder pads, the waist piece, and the shin guards. And I love that helmet that he comes with. So there's some really nice sculpt on here. I think we might be able to see this used on some other characters in the future if NECA decides to go deeper onto these kind of off-world characters from the cartoon. But he looks great. So the helmet looks really cool. It does pop off. There's a peg that's on the inside of the helmet. So if you just wanted to kind of plug that into the top of his head, you can just plug it into the hole or take it off and you can swap it out with some ears. But you can spin it around on his head if you wanted to make it look like his face was blocked. But I love the look of that helmet. Really cool. So super excited to get that Samurai Mikey eventually. He is going to have some limitations in his articulation based on those shoulder pads, so you're not going to be able to get his arms up too high. And he has really, really tiny joints on the elbows, so be careful when you're bending those. I didn't have to heat this guy up too much, but he still has those little joints at the elbows and knees, so you want to be careful with those. And you will have some limited range on the legs because of the armor pieces on his hips. And because of the way that the upper thigh is sculpted, it might be a little hard to get that knee bent all the way back, but still able to get him in some pretty nice movements, so I'm not worried about that. I do like the sculpt, so if it means a little less articulation, that's fine. I'm sure we can still get creative with this guy and get him in some pretty cool poses. And now that we've gotten a closer look at this figure, let's take a look at some of his accessories. First up we have the Tokoji. It's a little green lizard and these are mostly in the comics. I don't think we've seen this in the Fred Wolf cartoon, but we have gotten one of these before. I'll compare them in a little bit, but it has some pretty nice detail. It has a bright green finish and the black line work is great. I think this is really cool. This one's in a different pose than the previous one that we've gotten. And since there's so many of these in the comics, it's good to have a bunch of these lying around because you can have a cool scene with all of them in Usagi. But you can see the slight differences. I think the older one is a darker green and it's in a standing position. So nice to have two of these in two different poses and that they didn't just pack up the old one in this newer figure. So I think it'd be cool to just go through all the different creatures that we've gotten, especially with the Pizza Club versions. We've gotten a lot of these. So nice to have him with Usagi. Then we do get this battle axe, it has some pretty nice detail on it, and when I first saw this, I thought of another character that I'll show at the end, but looking at the paintwork, it does have some nice line work with the black ink, and I love all the different colors with the handle and the grip and the blade, so when I think of a battle axe, I really don't think of Usagi, but it's a pretty cool accessory that we haven't gotten before. 
We do get two sets of hands. We get a pair of tight gripping hands, and then we do get a set of open hands. And I do love the sculpt that's on these. They have those armor pieces that are on the top, and you can see the maroon and gold colors that they used, so pretty neat. The original Usagi just came with plain hands, so it's nice that they put a little extra effort into the sculpt. And his gripping hands are really tight, so just be careful getting the accessories in there. We do get a katana to go with Usagi, and this one's a little different than ones we've seen in the past. The handle of the blade is a little longer and the color scheme's a little different, but there's some great line work on it. I do love this katana, but there are some limitations. If comparing it to the older one, the handle was too short on that original katana, so you really couldn't get Usagi into that two-handed position holding the sword. But I was hoping with this one, since it had a longer handle, you'd be able to do that, but unfortunately because of his articulation, you're still not going to be able to get his arms across so that he can hold it. So that's kind of a bummer, but luckily he comes with some other accessories that you'll be able to do that with, but I do wish that he was able to hold this one with both of his hands. We do get some new bladed weapons, and I'm going to mess up the pronunciation of this word, but this is the Chakram, and then you do get a Butterfly Sword. I'm not sure if we've seen these in other releases before, but it's just nice to have these two new accessories that I don't think we've seen. Looking at the Chakram, it has some pretty nice paint detail with the yellow paint on the handle with the black line work. I love that this blade goes more with the samurai aesthetic. And then we do get this Butterfly Knife, which is a thicker, shorter blade. Has some nice line work with the black paint and then the handles a different color as well so these are looking pretty good they were really hard to get into those tight gripping hands so definitely apply some heat i had some paint rub when i was trying to get them into his hands so just be careful with that Usagi does come with another facial expression this is more of a neutral face i would have liked if we've gotten an actual smiling face but this one you can put the extra ears that you get in and it has a slightly different color than the band that we've seen on the ears than the original release. The original one had more of a purple band. This one has more of a maroon. And one of my favorite accessories is the Shashimono. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I had to look it up. It's Japanese woodcraft, I think. And it has some nice sculpt. So I'm happy that they didn't go with soft goods for the actual tapestry piece. It's sculpted, so you can see that it has that shape where it looks like the wind's kind of blowing through it. So really cool and then kind of my gripes with the sword of how you can't get Usagi to hold it with both hands. This is long enough Well, you'll be able to get him in some poses where he can hold it and grip it with both hands. So pretty nice there. Now something I wish is that on the artwork you can see that the tapestry is on his back and there's no place on the figure for this to actually go. So he's just going to have to hold it. I guess I've gotten spoiled with G.I. Joe Classify where you can put all their weapons onto their bodies but he can still hold it pretty well and it looks really good. So this is definitely one of my favorite accessories. And a quick compare and contrast of the original Usagi Ojimbo and the Samurai one. The original release was more cartoon accurate, so I think we've always been wanting that in the tune line, so that was pretty exciting. But I think if we look at this new Samurai one, it looks more of what we're familiar with probably if we grew up with the Turtles. I skipped the Year of the Rabbit 4-pack, I skipped Space Usagi, but when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. And here's what made me pick up the Samurai Usagi. If you grew up with the Playmates version, then the looks are very similar, and I think it brought back a lot of nostalgia. So, I definitely didn't need another Usagi, but looking at the design, I definitely see what they were going with, and I think this actually means a lot for the future because if we're going to start getting characters that weren't on the Fred Wolf cartoon, I would love a Pandacon because they share similar aesthetics. These were two of my favorite characters that I would use alongside my turtles. And when I saw this axe, I immediately thought of Pandacon. So hopefully in the future, once we start getting through a lot of the main characters in the cartoon, we start seeing some of those old Playmate characters in tune form. I would love that. So let me know down in the comments if you're picking up this Usagi. When I was in the store and I picked him up, I wasn't sure. Got him home, looked at the box art, and then it reminded me of that old Playmates one. So I think this was a really good decision on my part. And if you enjoyed this episode, folks, please hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next episode, we'll catch you next time.